Razaban for fighthype.com, Dave Colwell. That was a war. It was a great fight, wasn't it? Eubank's tough, man. He is tough, but at top level, you need more than toughness. George Grosbach's perfect. Mm. For, in a way, in, what he needed to do to beat Chris Eubank Jr. tonight, he brought fantastic. He controlled the distance, he controlled the pace, which was so important. I didn't think he'd be able to control the pace. I thought that um, his last couple of fights, I didn't think he's late. I thought he was a bit leggy. I didn't think he, was, he had the same legs he had. Tonight, he had the legs. But also, what helped him was the fact that Eubank is so bad. I forgot how bad his feet are. You know, his, his feet were so poor trying to close the range down. And so, George was comfortable. He was, he was able to maintain that pace that he wants to box at for so long in a fight. Until the last couple of rounds where any fighter gets tired. And and then it became oh, a bit more, a bit more a terror, you know. But I thought even when, when Judy got in close, George tied him up brilliantly. You know, locked him up, kept his head away from that right uppercut. And Eubank on the inside was just swinging and flailing away. And, you know, it, 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 you need to teach your fighters that there's more to boxing than just being fit and strong and throwing a million punches around. You need to teach them how to box, how to close the range down, you know? What, what to do when you get up there? It's not just a case of like just winging your arms about, selecting what shots you're going to throw. And, and I feel that Chris Eubank Jr. needs to get a, a, a Get a proper coach that's going to teach him, but it's got to be a coach that he's going to listen to. Because I see him, I see his footage in, in the gym. It works like a machine. He's so dedicated to boxing. Everything is boxing, boxing, boxing. So if he had a coach that he's going to respect and listen to that can teach him how to box as well, then you're going to see a, a, a better version. You can see a guy that can then perhaps compete at the top level. But he's fought Billy Joe Saunders and been totally out of box. And now he's fought George Rose and been totally out of box. It, need, it, it needs addressing, you know? Where does he go from here now? It needs a coach. It needs a coach that he's going to listen to and going to respect. Um, not somebody that's just going to preen about and, and give sound bites. And, uh, thank you. And um, you know, listen, it's their life, it's their career, it is what it is, but I'm, I'm nobody to, to say that, but my opinion, you've asked me, my opinion is, is, is he needs somebody that's going to teach him, and, and it's no good going, oh, my son goes and, and, and spars heavyweights, blah, 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 blah. Maybe instead of talking about how tough he is, teach him how to box. Yeah. Brag off about his skills, that he's been, what he's been doing in the gym. I got about how his feet are improving in the gym. No, swinging away, jumping in. If you took away the name Eubank, you'd have said he was crap. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? I will get shit because people say I'm just dating on Eubank. But I'm not, I'm saying it how it is. Do you know what I mean? If you took away the name Eubank and you just got some some random kid in there against somebody that box like that, it weren't Eubank and it weren't, weren't Grove. You, you say that, that kid was shit the way he was, he was just swinging in, swinging in. Oh, he's a, he's a bare novice. That's what he looked like tonight, a bare novice. George Groves now goes into the final and potentially sets up. I think, it's him, I think it's him against Calm Smith. What a fight. What a fight. What a fight. You think I hold my hands up. I didn't I didn't think George had the legs anymore for tonight. Yeah. He showed me he's got the legs. He showed me he's got that he got he got that fight. Uh, listen, hold my hands up. I kind of underestimated George. Overestimated you mate. You got it totally wrong. Yeah. I, well, I did totally wrong because I thought if George was gonna win, I could see him knocking him out. Yeah. I didn't think he'd, he'd, he'd win on points, right? Totally wrong. Yeah. Um, George against Callum Smith, I'm not picking a winner. Because every time I, I, I picked George to beat Badu Jack. I got that wrong. I picked him to beat Tudor enough, so I got that right. I'm gonna say that lately, I seem to be getting things wrong with him. But um, Comes with age, I picked, I picked him, I, I picked him to get beat tonight, and I was wrong. Um, but Callum Smith and it's a good fight. Mm -hmm. That is a good fight. Yeah. I don't know. I think I could see George beating Callum Smith. I could see Callum beat. again. It's a bit, it's a bit like the Eubank thing. You could see Eubank stepped into that level now. It's George Groves level. He ain't on that level. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So we haven't seen Callum Smith box at that level yet. So we've got to see. Callum's going to be going from this level straight into, a, into an elite level with George Groves. 
so we don't know if he can make that step. So it's an intriguing fight. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win that one. But it's going to be brilliant. Chris, who obviously loses his IBO yeah. super middleweight. Does he go back down to middleweight? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think they stepped up to super middleweight because the opportunity, because of the branding, because of what what it's going to do for you in, in this series. Fantastic series. Um, but yeah, middleweight. He's, listen, he's an handful. He's a strong, strong kid. Don't forget the, the size and the strength of, of, of Groves as well. You know, controlled, went some ways controlling the pace for George. Mm. But at middleweight, he's an handful. But I'll, I'll tell you, at top level, I don't care what weight it is, at top level, you need to be able to box a bit. Mm. Dave, Saturday night, go enjoy yourself in Manchester. I will do. Do you know what? I feel, I feel a bit of a twat because. I feel like I'm digging him out and I'm, I'm being I'm being harsh. But I'm, do you know what? I'm, it's, it's not about Junior. I'm, I'm, I'm actually turning into a bit of a fan of Junior because I, look, I, I follow him on his Instagram now and, and I see him, he's training. I see what he does and I see how, how fit and, and how, um, how dedicated he is to the sport. So I've got a lot of respect for him and I, mm. I, I do like him. Um, but I just feel he's being let down by, by people that are controlling him around him. Mm. And, I don't care what you've done as a fighter in the past. It does not mean that you know what you're doing in guiding somebody else's career. Mm. Well, let's see what he has to say. Uh, and both him and George will be at the press conference now. Dave Colwell, as always, my man, thank you very much. Uh, and we shall catch up with you very soon. We will probably midweek. Yeah, well, yeah we've got a press conference, haven't we? Yeah. Dave Colwell for fighthub.com. Thank you very much.